G'day Warbanders, and today I want to talk about Bandlord Multiplayer and why it's still alive. Now, I know a lot of you watching, you're mainly focused on the single player, but I feel like a lot of people in the single player space of Bandlord are missing out on the multiplayer action. Now, not a lot of YouTubers cover the multiplayer scene. There's a lot of Bandlord YouTubers that just completely ignore it. And I feel like that's a bit of a loss for them because um, Mountain Blade Bandlord multiplayer is one of the best uh, in the genre. Um, Chivalry and Mordhauer can be seen as maybe superior, I guess, but it's mainly focused on 1v1 gameplay, while Bandlord is more focused on the bigger battles, the bigger picture. And you have cavalry, you have siege equipment. There's so many different things that just make the game more dynamic. And uh, one of the negatives of Bandlord's multiplayer is that it's very skill-based, so you're going to get crushed by people with 1,000 hours, but don't let that deter you. Um, you. You can learn, you can understand the combat system, you can thrive in it eventually. And I just feel like you're getting more out of the game. Uh, single player, you're just fighting dumb bots. Um, an AI is never going to uh, beat a player, essentially. But in multiplayer, you're going to be constantly challenged, you're going to have massive battles, uh, depending on which region of uh, the world you're in. But where, where I play is mainly clan versus clan battles. So uh, big battles, big sieges, and also we do multiplayer mods like Full Invasion, Persistent Empires, and Bandlord Online. Uh, at least in my Australian community, uh, we, we ditch Persistent Empires because it's kind of boring, but uh, we, I had some great times in Persistent Empires. And what Persistent Empires is, is like fighting between different clans and factions and we have resources, you have trading, it's all very cool. Uh, it was cool for a, a moment of time, but then uh, we all quit. But yeah, there's just, uh, there's a lot of multiplayer mods is what I want to get across. And I feel like, again, a lot of people are missing out uh, just focusing on single player. And just another point I want to drive home is... You know, the sieges, they're just way more epic. In in vanilla, man, lord, single player, the bots just don't cut it. They just don't, as I said before. They just stand there, and, you know, it's not very dynamic. You don't have, you know, a lot of... They're just standing in formation, ready to go, and it's not as dynamic as in multiplayer. So, yeah, guys, that's just some points I want to raise about multiplayer. It's still alive. Unfortunately, it's not as alive as it was at launch. So people see, yeah, people see it and go, oh, it's dead. No one's playing multiplayer. Um, that's not true. Uh, you go join a clan and you, you, you get instant access to 100 v 100 battles or maybe even higher, like 200 v, v 200 versus 200. And it just, um, you know, you're not going to get, you're not going to get huge public server battles, but you're going to get huge clan versus clan battles. So you guys, that's just my little quick rant on Bandlaw multiplayer and why you should play it. Those are just some quick points there I've just listed and again, you're missing out boys like get in there um, If you're Australian like me uh, go join the oceanic uh, Multiplayer discord. We do tons of events every Sunday Saturday Friday. It's always good fun uh, Please leave a comment if you want me to cover more multiplayer content But I know that most of my audience is not really interested in multiplayer, but if you if you're interested, please leave a comment and a like, and I'd like to see some discussion going on there if you're interested. But yeah, guys, see ya.